Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So I've already shown you on the channel how you can enable uBlock Origin, which has now been blocked by Chrome as an MV2 extension in favor of MV3 extensions. And I'll leave the video for this linked because it involves downloading uBlock and then enabling developer mode and so on. Check the video out for more info. Now, I have seen a, quite a few comments on the channel that even though this has helped quite a few folks out, this method, it still isn't working for some users of Google Chrome who want to re-enable uBlock after it has been blocked. Now, there could be 101 reasons why it isn't working for you. It works for me. It works for a lot of other people. But in case this method isn't working, check the video out for more info. Then I have a so-called plan B, another experimental way you can try and enable uBlock Origin if it's not working. Now for this, I'm going to head over to Chrome Canary, but it will also work in the stable version because I don't want to disrupt this process. So heading over to Chrome Canary, and if you find yourself in a situation where uBlock has been turned off, you have it installed, but it's been turned off then I think this will be a very nice way for you to re-enable it. And I think this will be a nice way for you to get uBlock working again in other MV2 extensions. And this time we're going to use an experimental flag, but it's not heading over to your Chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags experimental page for those features. We're going to use a command line flag and edit the actual target of the Google Chrome web browser. So here you can see I have developer mode off. I cannot enable uBlock. I've only got the option to remove it. So what we would do is you would right click on any shortcut of Google Chrome, be that in your start menu, desktop, or your taskbar, like, like in my case. Click on properties. Then what you're going to do is you're going to enter this command line flag, which is very much a mouthful. I'll leave it in the description for you to copy and paste for easy access and reference. And you're going to head back. My shortcuts disappeared. But anyway, you're going to head back. And in the target field, you click on the extreme right hand side. So to the right of the last entry in that target field. You must leave a space, so enter a space, else this will not work. And then you just paste or you type that in. And then what I always do is I'll just head back just to make sure that that space is there. So let's just double check, there we go. Okay, so there is a space. You click on apply, you click on okay. You will close Chrome down, you would relaunch the browser. And now, if I head back into my Manage Extensions, you will see that uBlock has been enabled without using developer mode or anything like that. Obviously, this is only if you have the extension already in your browser, but it's been blocked and turned off by Chrome. So that's the first way this will help you out. Then the second way is if we turn on developer mode, we head to Load Unpacked. We head to a download of uBlock Origin, which by the way, you can download from GitHub. Go check the other video out. The download link will be below that video. You'd head to your download location and you'd find uBlock. Now I'm going to use 1.66. Now what you'd do is you would click to the next folder, uBlock Zero Chromium, because if you use uBlock 1.66, this won't work. So you click to uBlock 0 Chromium. You click on that, you select the folder, and there we go. It's enabled it. So now I have uBlock that was previously blocked, and now I've actually installed uBlock once again using the developer mode. So you can use either or of these two methods, either developer, or if you have it already installed, you just follow the process as mentioned at the beginning of this video. So there's an alternative way you can enable uBlock Origin in the browser. If 
other methods are not working for you. And obviously, like any experimental feature, this flag can be removed at any given time. But at today's date of posting, 2nd October 2025, that works. So you have now two options you can try out to get uBlock Origin MV2 extensions working again in Chrome. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.